Welcome back everyone. So today we are doing my wife's first aid kit. She's not really into carrying gear and this far she has a SAC Classic a locks on her keys, a whistle, a FOX40 micro, and she has a flashlight in her pack, a True Knight TI4, I think it is. It's a AAA flashlight in stainless with the uh, Firefly mode. So that's the gear she carries, and I've been trying to get her into the first A kind of stuff as well. She has she has medical training, um, but she's not really into carrying gear and stuff. <laughs> uh, so uh, I, I tried to probe her with something like this, like a standard uh, square size first A trauma kit with a four inch Israeli and some and some supplies like that, plus the regular stuff. I'm just illustrating here, but. Uh, this was too much for her, like she didn't feel she would need it somehow. We have a well-stocked first aid kit in the car, so if we are driving she has tourniquets and all sorts of stuff there, but for EDC to, to the city and such, so uh, we both commute to the city by train. Uh, so to have something something there, well, she's in the hospital all day, but, <laughs> but back and forth to and from the hospital, maybe it would be nice to have some supplies. Uh, she is kind of dubious about that, but this was too much anyway. Um, so we were discussing a little bit and she would consider something smaller. So away with that one. And then back with an old favorite here, this one. So this is a much smaller, if you compare it, it's it's about the same width as an Israeli, okay, but the entire kit is much thinner than just the Israeli bandage, right? Um, and this one will give her some some abilities, not the same as that one, uh, obviously not the same as a trauma kit, but it might be enough. So in here, as you see, it's kind of packed, but we still have some room for, for meds and such. I didn't add any medication. She can put what she wants herself. Um, but yeah, we have a, uh, a CPR mask with a proper valve on it. Not the cheapest one. These are a little bit more expensive, thicker, better than just the, you know, the, the bag with the small valve in it. So this is a little bit, a little bit bigger valve to it. Uh, gloves, a pair of gloves, standard pack. This is came with, I think it came with this kit actually, this one. This one did not come with this kit. A um, Israeli field dressing, okay. Uh, why the Israeli field dressing? Well, the form factor for it, okay. It's very small, very flat. Um, this does not wrap a chest or stomach wound very well like the Russian do. I, I have no experience with the American, so I can't tell you about that one, but the regular ambulance dressing you buy in the store doesn't really wrap a gut wound either. The Russians do. Uh, so this one don't. This is a limb type of bandage. Of course, you can use it elsewhere as well with pressure. So yeah, uh, considering packing, packing a wound, the likelihood of you starting to self-pack a junctional trauma to yourself is quite low in my opinion and if you're helping somebody else then you can improvise uh, it's much easier to improvise on somebody else than on yourself this is for a for a limb injury really and with pressure as well it will help um, there's no tourniquet in here that takes more space i'm considering grabbing some tk force these tourniquets to try out We'll see. People tell me they don't really stop a leg bleed. So how useful are they? Well, <laughs> that can be discussed, but let's keep on going here. So we have that. That's kind of our trauma. If you have a chest wound uh, to the thorax or whatever, gloves, holding a gloved hand on top, using the wrapper will create a seal. So that's something to consider. You can improvise that. And then we have some chlorhexidine wipes, two chlorhexidine wipes, burn gel, that one came with the kit, this didn't, burn gel, one sachet of, this is burn shield, this is tea tree oil, 
a um, compede. It's kind of like mold skin, but better <laughs> and more expensive. But it, it really works for your for your feet if you get blisters. A large band aid. Some smaller band aids. Some even smaller band aids. And some Hello Kitty band-aids because we have children or there might be a child which is sad and you need to give them a plaster. It's more fun for them to get a Hello Kitty plaster than just a brown plaster. So yeah, that's the contents of the first aid kit for the wife, the latest edition. So we will see how that goes and I will look into the Turner Quicks to see if they are uh, something which would fit in a kit and something she would want to use. I don't know. Um, yeah, so tell me what you think. Do you have any ideas, something to add, something to take away? What does your wife carry, girlfriend, uh, fiancé, whatever? What do they carry? Do you help them build their kits? Do you <laughs> force it upon them to carry gear they don't want to carry? Uh, how do they feel about it, you know? Us gear people like to help others get more prepared and, you know, our spouses are uh, the first first in the line for that treatment, so... Uh, let's try to not make it too much for them so they get too tired from us, but... You know, a, a first aid kit never hurts anybody, really. You know, it's really nice to have, and if you have the capacity to carry it, you should try to carry at least something. So, uh, I will be building some for my kids. Um, my oldest is five now. She will be starting school next year. So then we might up the training a bit for that. Currently, she does know elevation and pressure, direct pressure for bleeding. Uh, and that usually is enough for kids, really. Uh, but I've been thinking about doing doing a bandage of sorts, maybe the H&H &H Mini, we will see, but yeah, that's the first aid kit for the wife, thanks for watching, have a great day, bye bye.